Hi everyone, did you know that choosing the right grade of concrete can lead to smaller size column and less steel in the entire building? As a designer, we always aim for these two things. So let's explore what concrete grades are, how we can prepare them on site and how we can use them in our advantage. Starting from the very basic, concrete grade is nothing but the compressive strength of solid concrete cubes after 28 days. The way we write this is M20 is equal to 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. Here M stands for mix. 20 is the compressive strength of concrete after 28 days in Newton per mm square. The 1 is for cement, 1.5 is for sand and last 3 is for aggregate. As we all know, practically on site everything is measured in terms of tagadi. So it's important to know these ratios in terms of tagadi. Otherwise, you won't be able to communicate with the contractor these ratios. It's important to know that one cement bag contains three tagadi of cement. So, if we take the case of M20 grade in terms of tagadi, it will be three tagadi for cement, four and a half tagadi for sand, and nine tagadi for aggregates. Typically, on site, we utilize one bag cement mixture, allowing us to put only one bag of cement at a time. However, in metro cities, we are increasingly adopting 3 and 4 bag mixtures. The Tagadi configuration for mixing a single batch of concrete for different mixtures are as follows. It's essential to communicate these details to contractor to ensure that the concrete achieves the strength specified in the design sheet. Otherwise, every batch of concrete coming out of this machine will be of different strength. This will be completely defeating our purpose of RCC design. As we all know that concrete gains strength with time. So you might be thinking sir, how many days it will take to reach M20 strength? Let me break it down for you. In just one day, the concrete will reach 16% of strength, followed by 40% strength in 3 days, 65% in 7 days and a significant 90% strength by the end of 14th day. This is why we always advise contractors and clients to wait until the 14th day mark before removing the bottom of slab and beams. Removing them too early can lead to cracks and settling in the concrete. Therefore, a 14 day querying period is essential for slabs and beams. Finally, after 28 days, the concrete will achieve an impressive 99% of strength. This is the complete list of standard concrete grades according to IS456 code. Grade M5 to M20 are nominal grades, which means they can be mixed locally on site. Typically, M7.5 grade is used for plain cement concrete that is 1 is to 4 is to 8, while M20 grade that is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 is the most common concrete grade used for beams, columns, slabs and foundation in India except metro cities. In metro cities, the trend has moved towards using M25 grade as a standard. Grades M30 to M60 are mixed design grades, meaning they should not be made on site. They need exact amount of water, cement, sand and aggregates which are determined through a mixed design process. If you want a detailed video on mixed design, then let me know in the comments below. Typically, we order these concrete grades from ready mix plants and they are delivered by transit mixture trucks. Many contractors mix M25 grade concrete on site using small mixing plants. But this is not recommended. Each batch from these mixing machines will have a varying strength. Mostly, we provide M20 grade of concrete in columns, beams, slabs and foundation for building up to G plus 3. In metro cities, we use M25 grade as a standard. As the building height increases, the concrete grade requirement will increase for columns and foundation. For G plus 4 to G plus 8, it will be M30 and for G plus 9 to G plus 14, it will be M40. Here do remember that beams and slabs can be easily casted in M25 as floors will receive similar kind of loads on all levels. As we all know that concrete is much cheaper than steel, so here comes the main trick which we structural engineers use to reduce the column size and steel requirements. Generally, we provide M20 grade of concrete in columns which result in higher size and more reinforcement in a G plus 1 or above building. 
as columns are casted separately during construction process we can easily increase the grade of concrete for these columns to m30 or m35 which will result in smaller size column and less steel increasing your column grade will help you to clear all your columns in design process which on the other hand might be failing or getting 6% of steel use this trick to reduce column size and steel requirements on your real world project so the next time you start working on a project remember to choose the correct concrete grade that best matches the structural requirement of your project if you found this video useful give us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for more civil engineering insight do drop a comment below if you have any further questions or topics you want to cover us next till then see you in the next video